Hi, my name is Lizzie Breyer and I just wanted to share um, something about Fast VFT and how to tap. Um, there are already a few videos out on this and they're very, very good, but um, it seems like some people are missing them, so I'll do another one to add to that collection. And it's really for those who struggle in using Fast VFT. Um, there are some people and it's really, really, Fast VFT is super effective because what happens is they just notice what's what's happening for them, they tap, they grab their wrist, they, they go to a happy place or they feel good and they address it again and it's all clear, it's really easy, it's very fast. And then there are a whole, other, whole load of other people where it actually isn't like that and they're tapping and for some it feels like it's even getting worse and what I'd share with you, which is, and I'd, or I'd stress with you, is interrupting the pattern. What fast EFT is so effective as, effective at, and what it's so good at, is interruption. You're interrupting a pattern, and or I remember Rob talking about the record. It's like there's um, a record playing, and you're scratching it. You're scratching it up so it doesn't keep doing what it's used to doing. You know, it doesn't play the same song in the same way. Um, and then there's the phrase, you know, what fires together, wires together, and that's talking about the brain and how when we keep doing the same thing over and over again, it's like those neurons fire together and then they're stuck in a, like there's now this neural pathway going on. And so it's so much easier for us to keep doing that particular behaviour because now it's all in place. But that doesn't mean to say it can cannot be eliminated because it can. But... That's why fast VFT is so effective, because we're interrupting that. Now, if you're one of those people that is very good at um, analysing things, very thinky in your head, um, spent most of your life trying to work out problems with yourself or in other people, if you like, and you're trying to work it all out, that's where it can be problematic for you. And I can be one of those people. And <laughs> I had to learn how to do it. So what happens is, for instance, you could say you, you're sitting there and you're feeling this feeling or like you feel depressed and then you go, oh, so I wonder why I'm feeling so depressed. Like, where is that coming from? Do you, was it when I was four or when or was it when I was three when the parrot looked at me strangely? Or could it have been when I was nine? Or oh, I wonder what happened. Like, ha So you're just analysing it and you're very thinky and you become very meta. Or, or, you know, it could be like, oh, I need to tap. I know I need to tap, but I'm not tapping. But I've got this problem and I know I've got to work on it and I feel stuck and I, I know, but I don't know where to begin because I've got so many memories I want to work on and how do I begin? And you're just thinking again, getting caught up in this thinking fest, as I've heard a client say once, which was a brilliant phrase. Um, so here's vital information. Keep it simple and remember it's about interrupting a pattern. When you're doing that, you're doing more of the same of what you already did before. In fact, you might be making it worse because now you're really focused on it. You're really trying to get it. And so you feel worse. You need to interrupt that. You need to really find a way to break that up. This is why how people get effective change. And it's not always with tapping. They can interrupt the pattern in so many different ways. Um, so remember that. That's really important. Um, so yeah, let's imagine you're, you've that last example where you're going, oh, I know you need to tap. I don't know what to tap on. I've got these memories. I'm feeling really confused. I feel stuck. Perfect. You've got it. Feel stuck. So just tap on that. So just basically just notice what's happening now. I feel stuck. Okay, just tap. Let it go, let it go, safe to feel it, grab your wrist, blow it away. Now the tapping is interrupting the pattern. Noticing your fingers touching your skin is interrupting the pattern. Grabbing your wrist, taking a deep breath in is bringing you back to your breath, bringing back to your body, blowing it out. Even the movement itself is helping interrupt a trance or maybe like a frozen state. It's bringing movement into it. Then you grab your wrist, you take a deep breath in, you're blowing out. 
and then you imagine something else. So massive interruptions happening here. That's why this is so important to go to that, um, what Robert would say is like, you know, go to your happy memory or what is it that makes you feel good. If you can't do um, that, you could even imagine something opposite. Okay, a time when I felt clarity. Remember that time? Okay, I'm feeling that clarity. I can re I've really got it now. If some people struggle with any of that stuff because they're in a very highly anxious state, um, for that, then try again, keep it really simple. Come back to the moment and notice. Notice how your legs are feeling. Notice how your feet are on the floor. Slow it right down because anxiety is fast. Um, notice your hands and how they feel. Different sensations in each hand. Notice your breathing, how that feels. And maybe listen out for five sounds, five different sounds or more. So that's just helping you just come out of that moment and become present, which is calming the mind down. So that's also really powerful, because when you get your mind in a calmer state, we're more effective at getting change and release. Um, and then just go back to whatever the issue was. The issue is, I don't know what the issue is. Perfect. That's it. So just tap. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. Grab your wrist. That breath again. Blow it away. Imagine a place that you really love or you're with someone you really like. Or you're just here in the moment noticing your breathing. And then when you're ready... And I'd say put as much emphasis on that, you know, grabbing your wrist and feeling good or being present. Because again, remember, this is about interrupting what you what you know, what your brain is used to doing. You want to show it something else. The brain is so, so powerful. You show it something else and it will respond to that. And you'll start creating new pathways and you'll start creating new behaviour. And before you know it, things have changed. So, um, I'm sure there's something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember it, so. Hopefully, this explains what to do. And, but for those of you that get change anyway, easily, ignore this, because it's not for you. It's for people that find it difficult or feel like it's getting worse. Anyway, I hope that helps. Um, yeah. Oh, that's what I want to say. Uh, for some people... They know that there's something underneath it all that keeps them doing what they're doing. And if you're one of those thinky types and you're just getting over... It, it, the whole thing's becoming over complex. You're getting really bogged down in it. You're feeling... Oh, Alex's word. I've stole that from you, Alex McCauley. Um, and, or you're feeling really like confused or whatever you're thinking and feeling. You might want to actually see a practitioner to just help you... So then the practitioner can take that off your hands. You don't have to do the thinking. So you can just relax. They can help you do that. Find what's tr Help you find what's underneath it all and help you release it. Otherwise, just keep it simple and hopefully that... Well, hopefully, of course. Keep it simple. Keep noticing what's there and tap on that and interrupt it every time and you will see changes. Okay? <laughs>